Now let's move on to the final question, this one from Dylan. There is an incredible amount of computing happening when I play a game. <laughs> so why am I still manually tuning graphics settings like a caveman? <laughs> Couldn't the Good DLSSs question. all work together to adjust themselves to hit a target frame rate? The quote-unquote auto setting in DLSS 2 seems to be just another name for performance at 4K it output is. resolution, which is exactly what it is. It's, 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 exactly what it is. It's, for, it's performance mode at 4K, balanced at 1440p, and quality at 1080p, and I suspect lower. Uh, Alex, what do you yeah. think about this? I, I, I am reminded... I think I mentioned this in a direct a couple of weeks back of Forza Horizon 3, which seems to have auto settings management. Um, yeah, right. That actually works quite well. But yeah, actually, this is an interesting point where, you know, if you've got these phenomenal AI capabilities built into, you know, the, the latest GPUs, why can't they be thinking out the, the best settings for us? I guess they really, really could. Um, I mean, NVIDIA and AMD are now like, to a certain degree, recommending settings. And, and, you know, we know about it through those NVIDIA profiles you can optionally click on yeah. if you install GeForce Experience. And I always unclick that um, because I think they're not very transparent because uh, I don't even think they try and go for, um, like, a consistent 60 FPS. I think they go for, like, an unlocked 60. Yeah. I think that was the last time when I tried them that what it was what it was doing. So it wasn't like an experience that I thought was great. And I think really it's a hard problem to solve though because each game has different settings. Each game has settings that may or may not actually have anything to do with your GPU uh, yeah. or anything to do with your CPU, which is maybe like we talked in three questions ago or two questions ago about like how that's actually the biggest limiting factor in a lot of things. So this is a hard one. I, I would love it to be done, though. Like, why couldn't there be an AI program that recognizes your refresh rate target and then works from there to dial things back? I think the DLSS auto, the auto mode on DLSS is really dumb, though. I really wish it were different. I really wish uh, DLSS could actually just DRS by default without the developer doing anything, because... In that, they have the ability to switch between the levels uh, at the, you know, whenever they want. Why can't they also just switch between the levels in real time based upon driver metrics of what the current performance is? Mm. I mean, and uh, doesn't AMD has the ability with their HyperRX uh, GPU boost to re re reduce the resolution of a game in a really disgusting way when you move your mouse. But they have the ability to do that. It tells you that they have the ability based upon some sort of metric to adjust the resolution hmm. in a game. And that's really interesting. And I think that could be applied to other metrics that are more relevant than your mouse movement. Uh, maybe like the actual, like we have the ability to see GPU utilization and we have the ability to see the current frame rate of the current frame. Like surely these things could be done at a driver level in a much more interesting way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think also typically it, it is the case that when I'm looking at optimized settings, it isn't actually a huge amount of settings that have game changing performance differentials. Right. To, you know, so it's basically that maybe that could help here in that it would be, you know, basically tweaking um, the ones that have the most impact to frame time. That would possibly be a way to, to make the process a bit more easier to manage. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's certainly an interesting concept. Uh, Oliver? Yeah, I think that just reading through this question, real-time adjustment of game settings might not be a super great idea for a few reasons. Obviously, I think we saw that in the Forza Horizon games, but we don't often see that even on, on consoles in terms of uh, like a continuous adjustment of, of actual visual right. settings to hit a certain target. Yep. And I think it's probably less intrusive, especially with upsamplers these days and targeting very high resolutions as we are, to just adjust um, output resolution, or not output resolution, but uh, adjust input resolution, hopefully, and achieve the this a similar result that way. Um, automatic tuning of settings, though, would be great, but perhaps as a one-off adjustment and not a continuous adjustment. Um, in terms of the dynamic resolution question, I think that dynamic res should be something that's more common on PC and tracks very closely with GPU load in a way that's appropriate to maintaining a stable frame rate. Um, and it would be great to see that in a, game, in a way that's uh, game agnostic, but one potential 
issue there is that PC players don't really seem to want dynamic res as much, and it seems like there's a right. bit more of an emphasis on having absolute control over game settings, whereas I tend to favor the more console-like approach of saying, well, make it look good, hit these frame rate metrics, and then the internal resolution of the game is a lot less important to me, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just thinking, actually, Elden Ring seems to have some kind of uh, dynamic settings adjustment based on Tom's content. It just doesn't right. seem to, to work particularly well. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean, that's the other thing is, you know, this real-time <sighs> settings adjustment, what would happen with latency? You know, it would have to basically be predicting that you're going to be encountering a GPU-heavy scene and adjust stuff accordingly. I think it is definitely going to have to be a game implementation uh, and and yeah, I think basically if you're at a specific and hopefully higher resolution, dynamic resolution scaling just solves a lot of problems a lot more easily. Mm -hmm. uh, but certainly interested to see whether there's anything in this and whether there's anything that uh, uh, that Nvidia might be able to do with DLSS. Ultimately, though, I think you know the concept that what Alex is doing with optimized settings is that you're getting that performance back all the time. Yeah, uh, which should give you more consistent performance overall. So yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, it definitely, it seems to be the case that I think uh, there should be a way for users to have easier accessibility to consistent frame rates and frame times. I think that's that's a given.